Howdy y'all and welcome to Lex Lives. I think it's time we play a little Minecraft. Uh, Alright, so... I... Uh, I am going to go, I think, today and head over to uh, my water temple and uh, snag up some... Uh, some bits from the water temple today. Uh, I think that's going to be my plan. I got a couple of silk touch picks now, and uh, so I think it's probably going to be a good idea to head over there. How am I doing on food? I got plenty of food with me, and um, so I'm going to head over there and snag up some uh, uh, lanterns for lighting purposes. I know I'd uh, I'd left most of them pretty much in place because I didn't have Silk Touch when I was over there before. So I think now's a good time to head out that way and try and snag up some stuff. Man, I have been fighting with a sore neck all week. I uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I was uh, I was basically basically a bunch of stuff got knocked over and in between some furniture and so I couldn't really see what I was doing so much and so I put my face on the arm of the couch and um, was basically holding myself up by my face just leaned against the arm of the couch and uh, I didn't really stop to think about what that would do to my poor neck and so uh, you know I imagine it's the you know, feel around with my hands and grab all the stuff and put it back where it was supposed to be instead of on the ground in a big mess. And, um, it was fine that day, but man, I woke up the next morning with... It's not so much my neck as my, uh, trapezius, I guess. Um, but whew, apparently I stretched that bugger wrong, and, uh, it's not been a fun week, let me tell ya. I, uh pretty hurts pretty good at the moment uh usually usually doesn't hurt when i first get out of bed but as the day goes on and i use muscles to hold my head upright uh it is very sore and uh probably should have taken some some advil for it or something before i got started here because wow uh it's getting worse but, uh, yeah, you know, what you gonna do? Um, oh man, I also, uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, my job unveiled a new website this week. Um, all our, all our documents are all electronic. Uh, everything we gotta turn in, all our reports and everything. Um, and our timesheets are electronic as well. And, uh, because you have to, you have to fill out, you know, detailed how many hours I worked on this job and that kind of thing. And, um, so all of it up to this point has been done on these, uh, two websites. Now, the new website isn't that different from the old website. Well, no, they're, they're a little different, but it's still one website where you go to turn in your, job reports and a different website where you go to turn in your time reports um, uh, you know uh, and so I uh, they sent out a video for everybody to watch and so I watched the video and it's like oh yeah this is how you work the new time report website and I'm like okay so I look at all the, the video and they're like this is how you document you know, to the various steps of your job, and and, uh, and once you got that all done, then this is where you put in the first part, and the second part, and the third part, and and I'm like, okay, okay, I can do this. This is, I mean, I'm not, I'm not dumb, right? I can, I can handle a website. And so I get on there, and I fill out all the information, and then I click save. 
because that's what they did on the video. And I click save, and screen refreshes, you know, because I clicked the save button. None of the information I put in is there. I'm like, what the heck? So I fill it all back out again, and it's not a short process. Uh, there's a lot of information that goes into filling out. It, it's not it's not a time sheet, like I'm not filling in, oh, I worked eight hours. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, I mean, it is like that, but, you know, you have to fill out which, how much you spent on each phase, I guess, of the project you're working on. And, uh, cause there's, you know, estimates on how long the projects are going to take and that kind of stuff. And so, um, so I fill it all back out, I click save, nah, and it refreshes, none of my information saved. I'm like, okay, alright, something's not right here. Uh, and uh, so I'm like, okay, so I shut down the website and I start the website back up because I'm thinking, whoops, I was going to try and jump off of that, not fling myself all the way to the bottom. Oh, the problem is, is that if I pull out these lamps... Uh, all right, you are efficiency two. I want silk touch, so I don't have to remake these things. And uh, I think you have to have silk touch to pull these out of the wall. And uh, so I reset the reset the website, log back in. Couldn't remember my login information. I just used it like two seconds before. Couldn't remember my login information. Um, was using the wrong username and password completely because we also had to fill out new username and passwords and there's a different username and password for each site and um, I, I created the one for the one site and they gave me the one for the other site the one where you fill in all the important information you know the work you've done um, is there's special codes and stuff and <laughs> And the website where I fill out my time information is just whatever I feel like making up, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you getting paid, we don't care about that. But uh, us getting the secure information that we don't want anyone else outside of work to know, that's important. So that's got to use special usernames and passwords. Um, which makes sense. I mean, you know, that's a, that'd be the important part to me, too, if it was my... Uh, I mean, it is important to me. Don't get me wrong. It's just funny to me that they give me the information for the one site and I have to create my own for the the money end of things. Um, and uh, but so so I reset all that, I fill it all out again, I put it back in there, doesn't work. I try again, doesn't work. I'm like, well, you know, the system the system just started. So maybe the system's down, <laughs> and they've got to work out some kinks. Oh, hey, look at it. Uh, I'm going to take this with me, too. Boop. And uh, so I'm like, all right, all right, whatever, whatever. You know, I'll come back to it later. So later that night, um, I went ahead and started it back up, and I put in the information, and I hit save. It still doesn't work. And I'm like, oh man, now I'm going to have to contact somebody and let them know that I'm unable to to fill out my information and see what's going on. And then, and then I realized I'm an idiot. I mean, I knew that going in, but um, there's a drop-down menu to the left side where you have to tell it what kind of job, and there's only one kind of job. I mean, there are lots of kinds of, of projects, and so there's lots of kinds of jobs, but for the purposes of the system, there is one job, and you just have to say, I'm doing a job, and these are the hours I spent on this phase of the job, this phase of the job, this phase of the job, this phase of the job. And so all the way on the left-hand side of the screen is a drop-down box, that I didn't switch to anything. And that is why I couldn't enter my information. Because the little 
single drop down box all the way on because the, there's a there's a drop down box on the far left and then there's a bunch of information and then there's a, a bunch of rows or columns where uh, you have to put in the actual information on the the faces of the jobs and <laughs> and so I completely ignored the thing that was all the way on the far left like eight times before I finally struck me oh yeah I remember they did that in that video that I watched it was telling me how to do the job I guess I should have watched the video one more time uh yeah but uh yeah so that was working now and uh I mean, it was always working. It was just me. Unable to follow directions. That's me. Um, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Apparently, uh... Apparently tomorrow is going to be possibly some d and I'm not sure. Um... Supposed to play on Sundays, but uh, everybody's got to go away tomorrow. Oh, I'm out of torches. And uh, so we're supposed to move our D and D thing till tomorrow. Except that tomorrow I want to go see Wonder Woman. I haven't got to see that yet. And uh, on top of that, there's a birthday party tomorrow because you know. Always a birthday party here, it feels like. And, uh... So, I don't know. We might not make it to our... Weekly session of D&D &D for the family. Although, I don't see why they couldn't just go to that thing on Sunday and then come home after a little bit, but no. They're gonna be gone all day, I'm sure. All day. To an open house for someone they don't know. Have I picked up that many of these? Wow. It's a relative of somebody that they know. But it's not someone that they've ever met. I refuse to go to that kind of stuff. I know like my second cousin's daughter <laughs> who I've spoken to maybe twice ever uh has her open house and uh cuz she's graduating and I am not going to that either. Actually, I think that might be today. So, I'm definitely not going to that. <laughs> uh they sent me an invite to the graduation, which is tonight, and uh the open house which I think was earlier today. Uh uh, in fact, they were, uh, uh, my sister, uh, one of her jobs that she does, uh, is a piano player, professional piano player, sort of, and, uh, I mean, technically, right, um, she gets paid to play the piano for things, and so... I guess that makes her a professional piano player? I'm not saying she's, like, in a band or something, um... But uh, she does play piano for, like, choirs uh, and things like that. So uh, I'm more, more professional of a piano player than I am. That's for sure. I, I don't have the desire to play piano like that. And... Um, I mean, I thought it'd be cool to learn when I was a kid, and so I, I took many years of piano lessons. Let me tell you, uh, like eight years of piano lessons, and I just wanted to learn, and then you know, start taking piano lessons, and you you learn how to read the music, and um, you learn how to you know, it's it's like anything else. You got to learn where the finger placements are and. Um, it's kind of like typing. It's really not dissimilar from typing. Uh, and, uh, except that you have to press the keys, um, at precise moments. And, 
Uh, so it'd, it'd be like typing if you tried to match your key strikes on the typewriter to, uh, or the keyboard, I guess, at this point, to uh, music. <laughs> and um, so, you know, once you learn where all the keys are, and you can remember where the keys are at, then it's just a matter of uh, counting and making sure you hold the keys down long enough. And, um, but yeah, I took like eight years of piano lessons. She's taken like, oh man, she took piano lessons forever. I think she was still taking piano lessons in college, uh, which is why she's, it's not like her normal job. It's like a second job. Um, so, um, but she's going tonight to play piano for the graduation, uh, and, uh, yeah, piano lessons, oh, man, I so hated those, mm, I didn't mind them at first, and <clears throat> when I was first learning, um, uh, I, you know, I took piano lessons at someone's house, and uh, so I learned to play a little bit. I mean, I learned to read some of the notes and stuff. And then uh, I want to say after that, I took piano lessons at the school I went to. And uh, and then the person who did that quit or moved on. I don't know if they quit. I mean, yes, they were no longer employed at the school, but I don't know why they left the school. But uh, I could not stand her. Oh, she was terrible. And then... After her, I got, uh, uh, took piano lessons from, uh, a more professional piano teacher and, uh, reached the point where I could, uh, um, I was at the point where I could play music as it was written. Whoops. I totally just exited that thing. I went to hold down shift to move faster, and that is not how this game works. And... <laughs> But uh, uh, I got to the point where I could play, or I could play music as it was written, and I was learning to uh, um, switch keys and then uh, be able to um, take what I was seeing and translate that into another key, which is what you have to do to be able to play for singing. And at that point, I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm done with this. Um, I, I don't want to do this anymore. And then, you know, my parents were like, no, you're going to do this until... until I forget. I can't remember what the cutoff was for me, but I had to play it until a certain point, and then I finally reached that point. By the time I got there, too, I had basically... They basically wasted their money for the last six months of my playing piano because I was not doing the lessons... You have to practice for, uh, you have to practice every day. I had to practice every day for something I didn't want to do. Although that's kind of true of most things I do in life, so. Uh, but, uh, there's very little that I actually want to do. I, uh. Alright. I kind of want to put some lights just in the side of this wall here. And then that way it's in both sides. Um, I'm just going to do one big band of light through here, I think. Which is a huge waste of my sea lanterns, but... In fact, uh, with that like that, I think I'm going to change out some of those blocks for uh, the darker, the darker colors here. I will, I will. Um, oh, don't tell me I used them all up. There we go, brown terracotta. But, uh, yeah, I took singing lessons, too, if you can believe that. I, uh, man...
and um, okay, except that means I've got to redo this wall as well. And um, nope, nope, screw that up. Screw that up. Give me those back. And so You know, I'm going to take that out and then we're going to put these in back in like that. Whoops. And I think instead of lights, I'm going to put glass there. Yeah, I think oop, that needs to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I need more leather. Uh, cows. I need more leather. I don't know how many cows I have. Let me go see. I want to do some uh, item frames here. I want to put a clock in. Uh, wheat. guys go, and you guys go. Yeah, I really don't have a lot of cows, do I? Did I get some... Oh, sorry. Did I get some baby cows? Some calves? Yeah. Alright. So let's, uh... Whoops! Whoops! I think I hit my horse in there at one point. Uh, yeah, this, this didn't go well, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, do I not have a way out of here? I need to make a way out of here. Oh, sure. Sure. I kill cows without getting leather. I kill, uh, or I trim a sheep. I get three wool. Uh, oh, right here. <laughs> that sheep was hiding it. Uh, that is not enough leather for my purposes. Um, huh. Well, I suppose we could head out across the plains here and see if I don't see... I don't think there are any cows out here, though, but I'll take a quick look. Ooh, look at this. There's a cow up there, too. The big tunnel. I did not bring... Oh, there's a skeleton in there. Ow, I didn't bring any torches. And I'm not using my my lamps, but I did see a cow. I think I saw a cow. Cow? No? I could have swore I saw a cow. Um... And, uh, weird. I really thought I saw a cow up here. It was standing right here. And now I don't see it. I hallucinated a cow. Oh, there's a cow.
<laughs> Alright, with that, click like, like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one. I will talk to you later. Oh, oh, oh.